Welcome to Creative Broadcasting, the station of unlimited possibilities, presents Creating Your Seat at the Table with your host, Ashley Little, as she welcomes her guest to the table. Welcome to Creating Your Seat at the Table. I am your host, Ashley Little, a little bit about myself, corporate professional by day, serial entrepreneur by night, six-time best-selling author. CEO and founder of Ashley Little Enterprises, LLC, and founder and owner of Talk Radio and TV Network, LLC. Tonight, we have an amazing special VIP guest by the name of Saida Murphy. A little bit about her. Saida Murphy is the founder and CEO of SM Media Enterprise, the creatress brand. Saida has always had a passion for the media arts and uses that passion to drive her business. In between screenwriting, podcasting, and producing, Saida works to equip her women of color creatives with the tools and resources needed to inspire the world through their stories. Saida is a graduate of the University of Michigan, BA in Communications, and the George Washington University Masters of Education and Organizational Leadership and Learning. She has spearheaded projects through SM Media like Black Girls Need Love 2, a healing podcast, Happy Hour Chat, a live show that provides tips and tri- tricks from, for various aspects of the industry like creating pitch presentations and starting a podcast, Black Love, a Community Affair, a mini documentary, and I Used to Love You, a poetry collection set to be published summer 2020. Saida currently lives in San Diego with her daughter. Welcome, welcome to the table, the amazing Saida Murphy. Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for having me, Ashley. You are welcome. I'm excited to finally have you at the table, Saida. I know we're working on something together this year as well, and I'm excited to hear, you know, share your knowledge and wisdom with us. So tell our listeners more about your entrepreneur journey. Um, well, it's been interesting. I've done a little bit of everything. Um, I grew up in a family of educators. My grandmother started her own school, so I always had the entrepreneurial spirit spirit under me. Um, so I started event planning companies, social media marketing companies, and then it just morphed into this production company that I own now. So it's been a journey, and it's been a little bit of this and that here and there, but this is now my baby, my production company. I love it. You are very passionate about media arts and use that passion to drive your business. So please tell us more about your passion and why you're so passionate about media. Absolutely. So I didn't realize that I was as passionate about media until maybe about a few years ago. As a little girl, I always loved movies, always wanted to make movies and be in movies and do other things in the media arts. But I just thought it was a pipe dream. So then as I grew up and I was finding things to do with my businesses and really trying to figure out what I wanted to do in life, it hit me like, excuse me, you've always had this passion for this media industry. Why not explore and do something within that industry? And once I started to learn more about the industry and do stuff in the industry, I absolutely fell in love. I mean, and the media industry is an amazing industry to be a part of. So um, let's talk more about, you know, because you're into, you know, screenwriting, producing, and podcasting. So what are some strategies you would give to listeners who are looking to uh, looking into screenwriting and producing? What are some strategies you would give to those listeners? Um, research. A lot of times people think that you can just, like, have an idea and start, but there's so many different aspects to screenwriting, to producing, to podcasting, to even writing a book or writing a blog. There's so many different little pieces, so it's always best to start with your research and make sure that you know exactly what you're getting into. So for our listeners that are listening, make sure you start with your research. So tell us more, Saida. How did you get into the screenwriting and producing, you know, for those listeners that are trying to figure out, like, where do they start? Um, You just start. I did a lot of research, and I still do research every single day because I don't know everything, and I'm still learning myself. So I still do research every single day. But I just started. And a lot of trial and error is what makes this industry amazing. So you just have an idea, you start. If it doesn't look like what it's supposed to, you research. Then you add that research into your idea, and you just keep working it until magic happens. 
I love that. And did you have any type of, um, you know, mentors or internships or anything when you first got into it? Not in this industry. So I've had mentors and I've had internships in the past, but nothing in this industry. I took a few classes in undergrad. Um, I was actually going to be a film minor in, in undergrad, but uh, to graduate early, I decided to drop the minor. So I've had a few classes, but nothing specific in this industry. All of this has just been like self-discovery, self-taught. So for for our people that are listening, that are thinking about screenwriting and producing, just get started. Don't wait on somebody to, you know, invite you to their table or to, when it's the right time. It's never going to be the right time. So get started. Jump out there. And Absolutely. Get started. Absolutely. I have I did not have a lot of access to media industry, and I'm still breaking down walls to gain access. But I'm creating my own space. Like the name of this show is Create Your Own Seat at the Table. I created my own production company because the production companies that I saw, they had very limited information on how to get access to them. So I decided to just create my own. So just make your own space. Yep, make your own space. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So, Saida, why is it so important for you to help women of color share their stories? One, because I am a woman of color and the industry is so saturated with other people telling our stories and we're so underrepresented underrepresented, and we're underfunded and our opportunities are just not there. So I thought instead of working my butt off and getting in the industry and then bringing other people with me, I would just start and bring people with me as I go along. Mm-hmm. Bring in other. I love that you said that, right? We should always be reaching back to help others and bring other people with us, right? That's what real leaders do. So I love that you shared that because, um, you know, that's that's what it's all about because we're better together. So where do you see our women of color in the media industry in the next three to five years? I'm hoping to see us, I don't want to say dominate because other stories are important too, but I'm hoping to see us fully represented and truthfully represented. And I hope to see us have more opportunities. Um, <clears throat> I'm a big Oscars fan. I watch the Oscars every year. And the amount of white men who are always nominated and awarded is baffling when there are so many women and men of color who are doing some amazing things in these industries. So I just hope to see us represented. Okay. Awesome. I love that. I love that level that you, you know, shine light on that. So tell us about your amazing um, company. You are the CEO and founder of SM Media Enterprises. So tell us about your company and some of the services that you offer. So the company is kind of like a two-branch company. So SM Media Enterprise is the physical production company. So if you are a woman of color and you want to produce a film or a podcast or write a book, we offer services to help you get those projects off the ground. And then the second half is the Creators brand, which is the educational brand of the company. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've been battling with my voice for, like, weeks. I'm <laughs> so, so sorry. Um, the Creators brand is the educational side of the company where we can teach you how to do these things. Or we won't necessarily do things for you, but we'll provide resources to teach you how to do these things. Awesome, awesome, awesome. So under your so you, you teach them tools and resources to do it, right? To to screenwrite, right. to podcast, to produce, all under mm-hmm. SM Media. Now let's talk about your amazing conference, the Creatress Summit that I'm blessed to be a part of. It will be coming up in June. Tell listeners about it and how they can support and get involved. So the Creatress Summit is our annual virtual summit. It started last year, so this is our second annual. And um, it's really just a culmination of what we do with the Creators brand. I have uh, 35 speakers coming together to teach on all different aspects, um, podcasting, filmmaking, marketing, networking, um, writing, all these different things that the Creators brand highlights will be all jam-packed into a week-long summit. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And it's a week-long summit, and what do our listeners have to do to be a part of it and get involved? 
Well, registration opens next week for our speakers. So pay attention because I know Ashley's going to post some stuff and give you guys the information to get registered. <laughs> so, uh, and then if you want to follow us on Instagram at the Free Agents Universe, we'll also be posting information there on how to get registered. So make sure you stay tuned for the Creators Summit. Great things are about to happen with this summit. We have some amazing people that are involved in it as well. So make sure that you register and get involved to attend this amazing summit that Saida has been working on with some amazing other people as well as as well as myself. So let's talk more about your I Used to Love You a Portrait Collection. They're set to release this summer of 2020. Let's talk about it. <laughs> okay. So um, it's actually my sister. So the company is producing a book for my sister. So we are the editors and publishers for that book, which is one of the services that we offer. So my sister is this amazing poet, and she has this collection of poetry that we're working to put into this book that we're going to release and self-publish this summer. We're like maybe mm-hmm. 35% i um, done with it now. I have a few more poems to edit, and then we're going to start marketing and getting it out there. But it's an amazing collection of poetry. I can't wait to share it with people. I love it. And uh, so it's coming out this summer. Do you know a date yet and how people can purchase we're it? Gonna, yeah, we're going to aim for it sometime in July. Um, we don't have a date yet, and it's going to be sold on Amazon. So just keep a lookout. And we'll probably have some um, sales on our website as well. So just to keep a look out for it. So make sure you stay tuned for her poetry collection that's coming out. Super congratulations, Saida, on your new poetry collection. So I asked all of my guests this question. I know you've answered this question a little bit earlier in the um, during our interview. But how did you create your seat at the table? Um, I just did it. I saw that there was a lack of opportunities for women like myself, and I just decided that instead of trying to knock on doors and beg people to give me an opportunity, that I would create it myself, and that it was easier and more fulfilling for me to learn the business for myself than have to, like, fight through it and have someone teach it to me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I love that. I love that. So what did failure teach you on your journey? Uh, failure teaches me every single day. <laughs> it teaches me to just keep going and that there are 95 million ways to do something and that there's no right or wrong answers. And just to keep going, um, it's, failure is a powerful thing because it can, like, really knock you off your feet for a while. But if you get back up that strength and that tenacity is what builds your character, and that's always amazing. Yep, yeah, because it's always a lesson, right? It's always a lesson to be learned. So what did always. success teach you? Uh, success is teaching me to stay humble and that there's always something bigger and that there are always people who can be helped with your success. I'm not in it for money. I'm not in it for fame. I'm in it to build a community and to support people like myself who aren't supported. So just it keeps me humble. Mhm, mhm. And, and it's always important to stay humble, right? It's always important to stay humble. Absolutely. So we are in a new year of 2020, a new decade. Before I ask you what you know, what else you have planned? What are some positive words and encouragement you could give to our listeners right now? You know, with everything that's going on in the world. What are some positive words of encouragement you would give to our listeners and business owners and entrepreneurs? Um, Just keep the faith. Uh, Stay grounded. If you're religious or spiritual, keep close to those practices because that's what's going to pull you through. Um, Stay in in contact. I know we can't physically see our family and friends, but stay in contact with those people because those connections are what's important and what's going to keep us sane throughout this time. Um, And just just keep the faith, keep the hope, be patient. It'll all work out. Yep. And thank you for sharing um, those words with us. So what can we expect from you in this new year of 2020? You know, with a new decade, a new year. So what can we expect from you? We're in the second quarter now. So what can we expect to see from Saida Murphy? 
<laughs> well, definitely. I'm just working on building up this company and creating more opportunities for us women of color who like to create. So for sure, look out for the Creative Summit. Um, we do an annual planner. That's, so we'll have our 2021 planner that's going to come out soon. Um, hopefully, we can start planning for a physical conference. But with everything going on, we don't know if that's going to shake out this year or next year. But we want to do a physical conference. So those are our big things. And then outside of producing a few films um, for some people and doing that poetry book, uh, we're just laying low and putting our little ducks in a row until we can make some bigger moves and do some bigger projects. I love it. I love it. So super congratulations on all the great things that you're getting ready to birth in this new year and this new decade. And I can't wait to see all of the blessings God is going to bless you with. So will you please tell our listeners how they can follow you and support you on all social media platforms? Sure. So we are mainly on Facebook and Instagram. If you go on Instagram, you can follow the business at the Creators Universe. All one word, and Creators is spelled C-R-E-A-T-R-E-S-S. And then you can follow me on Instagram at Saida Mercy, S-A-I-D-A-H-M-U-R-P-H-Y. And then... I'm also on Facebook, Saida Mercy, and then you can find the business as a media enterprise on Facebook. Yes, yeah, so make sure that you follow and support Saida Murphy and all of the great things that she's getting ready to do. So make sure you connect with her. She's definitely somebody to know and connect with. So Saida, thank you so much for taking the time out of your very busy schedule on this amazing <laughs> Easter Sunday to come to the table, and I cannot wait to invite you back. Thank you so much for having me. This is a great way to spend the end of my Easter. Thank you so much. You are welcome, and I look forward to continuing to work with you and collaborating with you in the future. Absolutely, same. And you guys, come to the Creator Summit, because I know Ashley has some great things in, like, in plan for her session, so... Come on out yes. and support. <laughs> yes, yes. So I look forward to seeing you all there. Listeners, make sure you register for the Creatress Summit. Thank you again, Saida, and I look forward to continuing, as I stated, to collaborate with you in this new year. Thank you so much. So I would like to give a special thanks to my intern, Sarah, from Tennessee State University, and my intern, Von Tara, from Winston-Salem State University. You all may follow me on Facebook at Ashley Little and on Instagram at underscore Ashley A. Little. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Creating Your Seat at the Table, where Ashley speaks with corporate professionals, celebrities, entrepreneurs, authors, and speakers who are transitioning or have transitioned to entrepreneurship. 